Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about interfaces in Java. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned how you can achieve abstraction, what is abstraction, and we have learned that abstraction can be achieved by either abstract classes or interfaces. So let us understand what are interfaces in Java. So in the abstract classes, we have seen that you can have the concrete method as well as abstract method in abstract classes. But in case of interfaces, you cannot have any concrete method. That's the difference between abstract class and interfaces. Most of the things you will find are similar. The difference is basically that you cannot have any concrete method in your interface. So I've already created interface project. Let me create a class and I'll take a same example shapes. So I'll say I'll create a root class or parent class and I'll name it as shapes. Let me give a package name here. So com.rcv package one and finish this. Right, so now I have created a class. You can see that it is a class shapes. Now if I have to create an interface, I can either simply use the keyword interface instead of class, right? Or while creating itself, when you say new, you have the option to create an interface. Okay, so I can do or create an interface just from while creating the new class or new interface. So if I click finish, you can see that interface shapes has been created. So in this case, I have simply removed the keyword class to interface to create an interface. Now we have already seen or understood that interface in the interface, you can't have any concrete method. So for example, I define public void draw shape. All right. So this is the method that I want to have. And as soon as I'll define a body, for this method, you will see the error appears. If you hover over draw shape, you will see abstract methods do not specify a body. So you can't have body in your abstract or in the interface. So basically in the interface, you can't have any method, which is a concrete method. So I, ha I will be having all the methods as the abstract method. And I don't have to specifically provide the abstract keyword. I can do that if I want to, but I don't have to specifically specify the abstract keyword for the methods within the interface, right? So I can remove that and I'll say draw shape and I'll say color shape. So these are the abstract methods that I want to define and I'll say move shape. All right, so three methods in this particular interface. Now, when we talk about the significance of the abstract classes and interfaces, it's basically same and both help us to achieve abstraction in Java. Now, when we say abstract classes, they can have concrete methods as, as well. So if you have or if you as a root class, you know, basically what implementation will be there for a particular concrete method, then you use abstract classes. Otherwise it is interfaces. So in the interfaces, you can't have any concrete methods defined. Now in this particular case, say we have already seen that if I have to draw a circle, then I'll have a class circle. So let me create a class circle. And then my class circle can basically extend the interface. Right. So um, it will implement the interface, sorry, not extend, it will implement the interface. So when we used to, you know, inherit any parent class, we use the keyword extend, right? And now when you want to implement or when you want to use the methods that are defined into the interface, then you have to use the keyword implements. 
especially if this is the class so whenever the class is inheriting the properties of the interface you have to use the keyword implements and provide the name of the parent interface or the interface that you want to implementing now we'll also understand about the multiple inheritance and how you can achieve multiple inheritance in java so interfaces allow you to achieve multiple inheritance so as soon as i implement or use the keyword implement to implement shapes then i'll see the error and now i have to if i hover over you have to add the unimplemented methods so as soon as you click you will see all the methods with the annotation override are available here and now i have to implement these method in my circle class right so i'll say um, draw circle and similarly I'll do for the other color right so this is very specific implementation for the circle and similarly there is another class say for example rectangle then that rectangle can implement shapes again which is the interface and then implement all these method right now if I have to use or if it if I have to you know use these method I'll simply create an object of this class so I'll say circle C new circle and then i can call the methods draw shape which have been implemented in this particular child class circle right so if i run this now you will see circle draw circle got printed okay now the other important thing about the interfaces is that you can't instantiate interface as it was with the abstract class similar is the case that you can't instantiate interface as well because it doesn't have any concrete methods in it so if you try to do or if you want to you know do something like this say for example here i want to do or instantiate shapes which is an interface i can't do that if you hover over you will see cannot instantiate the type shapes right now let's see how the interfaces are being impl implemented in the real scenario so let me go to the web driver selenium web driver documentation and if i simply try to find a web driver and anything in the italics in this java docs here right web driver java docs is the interface right so web driver if you see if you click on web driver you will see that it is an interface and then chrome driver edge driver all these drivers or the browser drivers are the classes that are implementing this particular web driver interface right so when we define or whenever when the web driver architecture was being developed and designed so in that particular case what they have decided is because they don't know how the methods that are defined in this web driver interface are being implemented by each specific browser which is chrome driver edge driver or firefox driver then they have just defined the you know abstract methods within this interface and because web driver is an interface all the methods will be abstract methods and all the implementing classes so these are the implementing classes so when we say implementing classes it is basically chrome driver implements web driver right so same keyword that we have used here so chrome so here they are saying chrome driver class chrome driver implements web driver and then in this particular you know class chrome driver they'll get all the methods that are defined in the interface web driver and they have to implement all those because that's mandatory you have to once you you know implement an interface you have to implement the methods that are available in that particular interface right so that's the actual signif significance of interface because at the high level you won't be aware or you won't, you won't know that tomorrow say for example there is another browser being launched by any other company and they or you know they want to implement all the functionality of the selenium web driver so that selenium web driver works on the new browser as well 
then they simply have to implement this web driver interface and they'll need to implement all the methods that are being defined in this web driver interface so this basically provides you a blueprint that this is the this is the way you have to implement the methods to basically fulfill the requirement of this web driver api okay so that's the actual significance of the interfaces in java so that's all for this tutorial hope you like uh, this particular tutorial and this brings you some clarity around the abstract classes and interfaces thank you very much for watching